Hello. Hi. Hello. Good afternoon, beautiful people. Good afternoon. Yours. Me and Dad's going for a jaunt. Mm. Because, as you can see, it's beautiful. Weather is beautiful. Um, we are going to Beamish. Beamish. We're going to go to Beamish Museum. Uh, gem, right on our doorstep. Little gem. It is literally 12 miles away from our house. It takes us about half an hour by car. And it's pretty much one road. Uh, it is a, a living working museum. Open air. Open air. Nothing is closed in. It's all, it's class. It's we, as a family, we go every Christmas, like between Christmas and New Year. But uh, it's 21 quid in. But then that ticket lasts you for a year, so you can go back as many times as you want. And on a lovely day like this, rather than stopping in the house, we're going to... We are sun creamed up. Yes. We are going to go and pick Bethany up, because Bethany's come with us. Beth my niece Bethany is a, is a big historian, and she loves anything period... Um, like, what was that? Period drama. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she, she, she loves the olden days. Yeah, back in costume and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it is, like I say, it is 21 quid to get in and you can go all year round. It's 12 mile away. It was opened in uh, 1970 and I've just Googled because I didn't know the answer to this, but it is about 350 acres large, which... And it's expanding. Be. Yeah, it's getting, well, it's getting bigger all the time. What, I've, what I did find scary was the fact that last time we were there, they were opening a bit and it was a bit that I kind of remembered. <laughs> kind of like, no, I don't remember myself, but the houses were kind of like getting more modern and stuff. Like, and I'm like, oh, I'm starting it's to It's been interesting because there's a 1950s bit there now, because obviously yeah. it was all like back in the war time and stuff like that. And they've got, they've actually got a mine there where you can go in, which we're not going in. Yes. Um, But yeah, they've, they've just opened a 50s, 60s bit. All right. We'll find out when we'll get there. It's, it's but yeah, we are going off now there. It's going to take about half an hour to get there. So, and I'll probably... Take you through this again once we get there when we're actually just outside and then we'll go in and see what it's like. So well, we yeah. have been there when it's hot. I know, because we're normally in the middle of winter when it's freezing cold. Do I have a t-shirt in my bag, Bob? But yeah, I am. So yeah, um next stop, next scene. Stanley. Beamish. Beamish. So we'll see you in a bit. Right, we are here oh, and I've yeah. just remembered as well it's um it's gonna be a really, well a little bit harder to get in because when we were here at Christmas um the ticket machine wasn't working so we just got our receipt and we've had to come down with make sure we bring our receipt and our photo ID so then prove that it's us to actually get in the place. So this is probably gonna take and Bethany's got to pay to get in as well at the moment. So yeah it's gonna take a little bit longer to get in because we're in, but we haven't got any tickets because the ticket machine didn't work. So we've got to go and get our tickets. Got new ones. Got to get new tickets off six months ago. So um, we'll see you on the other side. Hopefully, not too long. You see, I put weight on. I'm not be happy. I'll give off a woman. <laughs> just on the way in to Beamish as you can see everything starts straight away we have instantly a little cafe on that side you also have the gift shop just as you come in so just like in Florida the first thing you get when you walk in the front door is a gift shop but you've got the gift shop just over there and then the most important part is your prices prices have gone up slightly it is now 22.50 for an adult and before anybody else says anything, especially you lot, I am not a senior, I cannot get in for the monthly surprise. price. No, so don't even... Yeah, and... Yeah. Well, yeah, they are your prices for to get in. And then, let's go down and see if we can get in and sort our tickets out for when we were here last time. Please wait here for the next available cashier. We shall do just that. Well, that was quicker than I thought it was going to be. Literally, didn't even ask for ID. They just got me a receipt and let me straight in. But as soon as you come in off the main, off the main reception, literally the immersiveness starts instantly. You've got all the old models. You've got motorbikes, push bikes. 
votes for women. Pop up all screw. Looks like what's 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 the amount of um what do you call it? Um oh man. Giga 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 Granville. Open all hours. It's 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 do it open all hours. You really are showing your age now, dear. I've got a clue what you're talking about. I'm not showing my age at all. I've got brick box. I've got I've got Sky Gold. I watch I watch all the rivers. Not at all. They're different. You come behind me. <laughs> You're so wrong. Leave me alone, you young lady. But yeah, you've literally as soon as you walk in. They've also as well got a little TV in the corner, or so you can see. Oh, that should be yeah. That should be that. That will come up in a bit. But yeah. Also got like a little prelude of what is going on in the park for you in the museum. But we are going that way. Because as it tells you on the screen, it says this way to the museum. Let's go. Don't know where they've gone, they've just left me. Oh yeah, I've just remembered. There's a git long walk down to the actual village itself. So you've got a choice now to take the bus or you can walk down. So oh, I've just found them there, so we'll find out what they want to do. So it might be a nice little bus ride or it might be a long walk. Before I maybe fell down the steps, but we'll see what we're gonna do in a minute. Are we out right there guys? That's uh well, happy Bethany. It's a long walk down to the, to the actual village itself, but yeah, Bethany is just so excited. She loves like history and periodic stuff and that, and she's just been back and got a got a map, and she's just like she's all proper like, oh, this is good, and she's telling us loads of stuff, no doubt, about together. Had a history lesson. Yeah, so if we find any history out from Bethany, I'll see if I can get it on here as well because she just yeah, she just knows everything. <laughs> so we've we've kind of getting down to the the bus stop and there's lots of different ways you can go from here you can continue to just keep walking down you can have a little look over this way where we've got <laughs> no visitor access <laughs> got the cold trains there but we are going to go that way and we're kind of gonna we kind of walk around in like a big circle and we get back to the just a little bit further where you can't see just where just at the end of the trains there there's a like a little forest that you go through and when we come through at christmas it's quite cool because they've got all like christmas like little houses stuff out and they've got all the naughty elves and stuff it's quite good so we'll we'll, we'll do this one today but we'll probably come back and do another vlog of christmas as well because it'd be quite cool so i've got a jar of dirt so yeah we're gonna go that way and we'll catch us in a bit bethany just absorbing all the knowledge Yeah, I heard that. Thankfully, the camera didn't. <laughs> but yeah, back in 1885. Yeah, I've just put Yeah, back in 1885, this is where the steam trains are just kept in, and we actually have the working steam train there waiting to take people around to the village. But we are not going that way. We are going back out, and we're going down there. And he was in that bed over there, and I was like, Whoa, oh, we're getting on that one because I'm not going to be in where people are murdered. Maybe we're just being charged. Was it you? But yeah, apparently somebody got murdered in there, so uh, yeah. Oh, two seconds. There's that steam train that we've just been looking at earlier on up there. So yeah, first thing we went into today, first coach went into that one there, uh, started talking about somebody who'd been murdered. So yeah, well, uh, I think we're off to. Well, it looks like either a church or a school now. <laughs> and we've got. Sorry, I'm saying one of the seven dwarves. I can't see you now. <laughs> well, how are you, Ben? You're shorter than me. I am, I'm short. <laughs> You're shorter than me. <laughs> Time to go to church. There's a bit with this. That staircase there. There's a very tight staircase. We'll go up there in a minute. It's a St. Helens. St. Helens. Yeah. Set for 1539. Yeah, you've got your numbers on your pews as well, so you'll just get in, sit yourself down in your pews. Even got names on these at the side, I don't know if you can see them. 
Oh. Oh, where people can sit, so you're a clergyman and church wardens and through pulpit up in the corner and then up there. Looks like the main altar through here. So I'm going to turn back round. Peekaboo. Right. I'm going up there. I've oh, got the shipping up for the Christmas that they used to do. And then we've gone up here. Oh, nearly. Yeah, this is very tight up here. I'll right, just slash the watch. Yeah, this is for when it's full. We've got the help benches up here. And then. But to be fair, some of the churches I've been to in the past don't look much different than this one. They still use piers in that now as well. I mean, the church I go to now is all, it's got all cinema seats and all sorts in it, but, but yeah. And then I'm going to try and get back down this road, <coughs> falling over, and we'll catch the guys up. And then as you come in here, this is where the priest or vicar or whatever you want to call him was in his work. And that's just been pointing out to me. Turn around this way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Apparently this is the dude that was murdered in the other house. So, hi. What is it? Tragedy! <laughs> That's right. And that's what I've got to put up with. Feel sorry for me, please. What was that? The beggar bumper car, man. Seriously, feel sorry for me. Right, we're going to go into here now. Oh, I'll tell you what. If you could smell, like you can smell the coal. Well, we've got the fires not burning through the other room. Absolutely. Yes. Have I been through this way before? Much more coming through this way. Oh, I remember what I told me, but no, we're going to go all this way first. We'll go through, we'll go back out this way. Find the guys. So I'm going to come through this way instead because I've just remembered how beautiful the view is from here. And how beautiful that garden is as well. So I want to get round here. I stand on this step right in the front. The beautiful garden and the absolutely beautiful, stunning view. We've even got the vegetable garden down the bottom as well. And there's the tree coming back. They don't like letters from Hogwarts. Who is going to win that? Yes. Bye. And we'll come through and I'm going to go upstairs. Because oh, I'm yes. tired. Do the sleep. If I lie down, I might not get back up. Oh, hello. We found the rest of them. Oh. Bethany. Educate them. Bethany. We've been educated. Have you, have, you, have you been in the scary bit? Yeah. Oh, no, you've gone to Because this bit here, it looks like it looks like a scene out of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where they all just stay in the same bed. But then there's a bit where you, you get through here and I'm... 
there's a bit, there's not, there's like a, last time we were here there was just a massive gap down there that was put over by these chests here, but yeah, it looks well scary down that bit, like. Um, this would sleep eight men. Eight men? Yep. One, two, three, point. yeah, whatever, That's four, then some stuff going on down there, but yeah. This uh, <laughs> this this room is this has to be the creepiest room in the whole of Beamish. Like we're not even anywhere near the village yet either. We are just in the outskirts, just going through the stuff. But apparently, I've got to go through there because Bethany's going to give us some more education. Come on, Bethany, educate. Oh, sorry, this way. What I've been told, this bigger farmer than the farmer's wife spared. Room. One of them to would sleep in here. Tell you what though. You'd never get out on this three legs. <laughs> she was a drum knitting. Oh she was when <laughs> we came in someone was knitting. <laughs> and that person's not here anymore and I'm really freaked out now. Yeah, but she's knitting three legs. <laughs> and <laughs> there's Uncle Nod's bed. And then there's the view back out the window again. But, what was it? So apparently when they came, when Bethany and Deb came up here, there was somebody in here knitting. And now, she's not actually here. Should we have a look? Is she? Is she under the bed? That's why they do the numbers. <laughs> yeah, there's the bed pad. Um, Bethany, mm -hmm. do you want to go and open that wardrobe door? No. <laughs> Didn't think you would somehow. That's the shape school. And if you go through there, and the head's there, yeah. Oh, how old are they? Oh, what? What is it called here? This is cool. I don't know what is this hung up in here, but it's, uh... Oh, however, it stinks. Wow. Oh. Yeah, what a... Gee, whatever that is, no. Don't go in that cupboard, it absolutely... <laughs> wow! Whew! Can't play ding dong guys. <laughs> <laughs> and try and run down them stairs. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be careful when you're going down the stairs because they are quite steep and quite narrow. <laughs> this is where it looks a bit rather spin all the yarn. I know where now. Maleficent. I know where she hides it. <laughs> I know where she hides it. It's here, it's here, it's here. It's what Maleficent is. Yeah, we're not here, Beamish. We're just, we're, just we're just on the back lot of where they make all of the films. That's what we've got. Sleeping Beauty over there. Fat more Sleeping Beauty. Love you, my beauty film. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot Bethany's in, I get wrong. However, We've never been up here before because every time we've come here before, this has actually been closed off, so this is new for me as well. So I can't remember what is actually up here. So, oh, she's another house. However, that bed is mint. It proper like, closes off on that. You, you, you didn't need blackout curtains, need you just closed off. That? Oh, uh, don't come we have that bed in our house. No. Actually, do you know the, can you remember the Santa Claus movie? When they're in there and they close off. That's like what it's like. It is. What's still here? I don't want to make sure I don't fall over. Oh, another big bed. Oh, this is proper old school with this like. Deb! Deb! Got a hidden Mickey? Kind of ish? No, it's not. It's kind of ish a hidden Mickey? It's not a hidden Mickey. <laughs> one thing I'm another thing I'm liking about today as well is yes one it is absolutely as you can see not a cloud in the sky but two as well we, we were going to come last week the schools were off and there's not a day so literally it's today freezing. there's literally nobody about like we are just wandering around just enjoying like not getting stuck with like behind loads of people and that but just actually oh yeah we'll just come around there so we're going back down and back down there oh, oh, 
Yeah, yeah, I'm lost as well. Um, we'll have to get old we'll Bearing. We'll have to get the map out. We'll have to get the map out. Oh, sorry, yes, Bethany's got a map, so we'll get the map out. Just to see the backpack, so. And the map, and the map, and the map, and the map, and the map. <laughs> what? Seriously, when I was seeing, like, you know, seriously, feel sorry for me. Yeah, I'm, I am not. I'm not kidding, like. But yeah, we are completely lost now. We've only been here for 10 minutes and we're not even scratching the surface of the stuff that we need to be at. So we're going to find our way back round to the actual proper yeah, village now. Sure. One thing to note, that if you are like, well, we've just been there in the 1920s. If you, do, if you don't get the, the bus down, it is a very, very, very long walk to the next bit. So yeah, we've been wanting for at least, oh, two well, minutes now. Like, <laughs> yeah, you get your steps in. If you come down here, you'll definitely get your steps in. Like, so yeah, it's a very long walk from, because we've just been on that bit and it got us back to the bus stop. Uh, well, we actually walked in. It's just a big circle to get you back round. And then it's a very long walk down to the next bit for you. So yeah, get your trainers on, get your Fitbit on, get your steps in. Leasting Thorn Colliery Welfare Hall and Community Centre. Let's have a look. Oh, smell the chocolate around here. Oh yes, I like this. Oh, I like the smell around here though because in there you've got a little tea room and that. There's a smell of chocolate in that as well. It smells absolutely beautiful around here. And I didn't even know, well, not because none of the one around here, that it's actually here there's actually a mini golf. Which I never even knew. Yeah, it's even a mini golf on here as well. There's a little mini golf. We've got ball and green. And then when we get round here, we're going to go into the community centre. So let's go into the community centre. See, get the community centre. Oh, that's why it smells good. It's got a follow on the Yeah, this looks very much like the community centre that me and Debbie still pant with years ago around the Thompson Park. It literally is like the same layout and everything. It is absolutely class before we can't. Normally we go out the back and stuff like that, but we can't go out there because there's actually stuff on. But yeah, this is like pant with This is what you're still pant with. And check out the prams. Them prams are just absolutely awesome, like, and you've got the little screens on the back of there. Not very far away from what we actually used to, because Thompson Park, come here, isn't it? Actually still looks like that. And once again, I've lost everybody. So, this bit here, it's, I saw, bearing in mind I'm in a museum, and these next houses we're about to go into are the kind of houses where, like, parents still live now. So, yeah, I don't know whether, uh, I, I'm clearly just getting old, like, because, yeah. Because these houses are what we actually still live around, right around where I live. Even got the fence on, yeah. Little outhouses, actually, the house over the back of mine actually still has one of the little outhouses on it. But yeah, this is a new bit that was just getting built last time we were actually here. So we've actually jumped forward quite a lot into a different era because we're going to go back around to the old school again. But yeah, this is a bit that's just been, just been built. So let's have a look into this. This, this is not even funny, like, because this is, this is just... Yeah, the little, the little, the little... You just leave your little silver tops. Robbie, Robbie, silver top. Wow. Wow, like... <laughs> this is unreal. This is, like, houses that I've been in. I... Friends have got houses like this. This is like. <laughs> However, <laughs> friends' houses don't have lifts like that, though. Oh, this is just. Wow, am I feeling old at this point? Because these are the house, like the kind of houses like our grandparents lived in and stuff like that. Yeah, this is like the kind of house that we would actually be in. Apart from 
That telly is still a little bit out, still a bit off the way though, so I'm not that old yet. But. Oh, I love that fabric. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it was like bubbly. This is the first time I've been in this bit, and it is absolutely. The kitchens, man. We used to have a cooker like that, I'm not lying. And then this would be the pantry. Yeah. So, in my mum and dad's house, they actually used to have one of these in the kitchen. They used to have that pantry there. And like, but now we've got to take it out now, it's just one big kitchen. But yeah, I even knew what that was before I even got to it because it's the same as my mum's house. Wow, they've even got the proper bricks that we used to use to strike matches on. But then my bro has still got that sink in his house, and that is the coal house, if I do remember rightly. Uh, yeah, that would actually be the coal house. Wow, honestly, I am so excited. It's like, I'm, I, I don't know why I'm excited because, like, it's <laughs> this is like it's getting to my era. Like, my, like, my mum and dad have a house like that. It's like this is in a museum, but it's proper. Like, I don't know why I'm so excited, but I think it's just because it's actually something that I can now, I can now relate to. But yeah. I can actually relate to this stuff. So I've just been informed by this lovely lady here that we have to go upstairs and check in the drawers apparently. So uh, yes, probably have to check in the drawers. Even I even <laughs> they used to have the staircase as well with the beams across the front to keep the keep the carpet down. So in the bathroom, the door. Wow. You've got the sink there and the bath there. Yeah. There used to be one of these doors there. Come on. Here you are. There used to be a sliding door that way. Oh wow. Oh yeah, you got a little sink. The door. And when people used to hang their line across their bath to dry their to dry their stuff when they were when it was too cold outside. But yeah, frost just this is just absolutely I'm actually getting emotional. In here. I'm actually getting I've never so been scary. I've never been so excited in here. In bed and so we'll we'll have a look in. What we got here? Shoes. How cute. I'm sure there's a photograph of me open that wearing an actual cardigan like that. Your job next to my job. Oh that's your job, isn't it? Yeah. Let's do this way. What else have we got? Oh no, this is just in uh, another set of stairs on another landing. With I sure have to dress up with friends when they're gonna do the, the bridesmaids dresses. Yes, there. Bridesmaids dress from friends. Oh my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's little shelves, man. And, is it and then everybody everybody's got a cupboard. Anthony's got one of these covered. You're a covered. I'm absolutely <laughs> just like. This is just. Actually, my mum has just bought one of them. <laughs> just a, it's a, a retro one just to put the. Play the play our tracks on, like. Can I come back into here, like, because this is just awesome. This room could actually be my mum's room. It's like. Remember these? Yeah, yeah they're sliding down sides on the cot. Yeah. This is like. Awesome. Yeah, we were told to have a look in these drawers, weren't we? I think that one. Oh, yeah. What's this? <laughs> I can't be looking in this drawer, man. It's got. It's a lady's drawer. You can't look in there. I can't there. be looking in there, man. This is what I do. You can't be looking in there. It's got women's stuff in it, man. What were you showing me there? Is that all the yeah. files in there? Literally, the side of my mum and dad's bed. It's like. This is like. I'm sure my age. No, you put that around your hair. You felt. You put it. Curled it. And then you smeared it in there and it kind of. You're tangled. I'm actually sure that. That is still on my dad's side of the bed. 
Yeah. Oh, watchman. Yeah. Right, anyway. Let's let's get out of here. Well, is, am I a famous or am I just like leaving my mates up for you? Right, let's Thank get you. out of here. Right, let's go to this one. I think this one is slightly older. Uh, we're just going to go through here because there's actually school trip in, so we're going to go through the other side of the houses and we'll start that way. Let's have a look through here. Boogies. <laughs> hey, little boogies. Class. You used to have one of them. Oh, no, I did. I'll probably still make one of the boogies. Little boogies. You know, smoke with you. When you spy the frame and you put it on. That's a proper one. Yeah, these, these, these were a little bit before my time, but it's not getting much further across. Shut up before you start. Yeah, these are. Oh, oh class. You still got your telly off? It wasn't long ago that my mum actually got rid yeah. of that lamp shit. Yeah. We were just about to go upstairs, but uh, yeah, that's not finished yet. PlayStation. Oh. Wasn't me, honest. I didn't do it. Yeah, I'm gonna have. Listen, Jake, we've got your own camera. You probably, no, no, no. probably wouldn't be the first one, not be the last one. Wasn't me, officer? I wasn't there. He's done that before, yeah. Yes. I'm pleading the fifth. You're a dying at table, man. Oh, what are you in it? Old fashioned by switches, man. I'm a. Right. There's not a tunnel bow in here or anything, is there? <gasps> you cut the air coal fire? Yeah. What's in that one? Mm. Table glass. Ooh. And then. Oh, Check this out, man. <laughs> oh. Check this out. Oh, don't you want a drink? Do you want to drink on the bar? <laughs> We've got, we got some gin. Got oh, some gin. Got some gin. We've got some, some whiskey. Else. Black and white choice old Scotch whiskey. Some whiskey over here as well. What's in here? 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 What's in I'm so glad we came here today. This is like, I've been to Beamish a few times, like, and, and I go around, but I, I, I appreciate, I've probably spent a lot of time in there, but that's kind of come up to, like, the stuff that I recognise yeah. now as well. So Beamish is actually, like, a living museum for me now as well, because I've got friends that still live in them type houses and stuff like that, and seeing some of the stuff there from back in the day, like, my mum, I just saw there, the, the heater on that and the lampshades and stuff like that, and just... It was, it's proper like the area that I'm into, so like I'm I'm kind of from type of thing. So I never actually thought I'd say that coming to Beamish, but uh, yeah. So we are now going to go back around to the old school bit, which I know the more old, of old the old old school bit. But yeah, that was um, that was definitely an interesting part for me. That like I should probably talk. They've even got the windows, and if you, <laughs> if you had them, but well, you had the wooden frames, you had to slam them shut. Cut if you didn't, then just yeah. During, 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 during the summer with the heat, they would, they would expand. And then you've got to pop like slam it shut and stuff like that. And then, and then in, in, in the winter, they're like, it was like, get in there. But yeah, that's just like, that's just proper made my day. Like, yeah. so if, if, if I don't get, if I don't put anything else on this vlog, that's just made my day. But yeah, we're now going to go back round to um, the, the old, old, old bit. So that was just like, yeah, we'll see in a bit. Like, Beth, sorry, Bethany's just standing off, off camera. Just, just, she's just like gone. Because she's still, she's still a band, she's still young and like we're old and it's like, wow. Didn't you be coming up here giving me grief? Didn't you be coming up <laughs> I'm having to ask them what everything is. <laughs> yes, yes. And they're all giving us the answers. Bethany, it's a long walk home. <laughs> Can't believe she 
Yeah, I can't believe she just said that. Wow. Oh, She's not wrong though, we could no. give her the answers. <laughs> <laughs>